Good morning. Can you hear, Revati ji? Okay, we'll start. Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Hi Om. Yeah. Namaste. Namaste. Can you hear? The audio is clear? Ah, yes, yes, sir. Okay, okay. Om Sada Shiva Samarambam Shankara Charya Madhyamam Asmada Charya Varyandam Vande Guru Paramparam Shankaram Shankara Charyam Keshavam Padarayanam Sutra Bhashya Kritav Vande Bhagavanta Punah Punah Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha, Vasudeva Sutam Devam, Tamsachano Ramardhanam, Devaki Paramanandam, Krishnam Bande Jagat Gurum, Om <coughs> Parthaya Pratibodhitam Bhagavata Narayane Naswayam, Vyase Nagratitam Purana Munina Madhi Mahabharatam Advaita Pratavarshinim Bhagavatim Mashta Dasadhya Yinim Ambatva Manusandadami Bhagavat Gite Bhavadveshinim Namos to Devyasa Vishala Buddhe Pullara Vindaya the Patranetra E Natvaya Bharata Taila Purnaha Prajwali Tokyana Maya Pradipaha Prabhanna Parijataya Totra Vetre Kapanaye Jnana Mudraya Krishnaya Gita Murta Duhe Namaha Sarvo Panishadu Gavo Dugdha Gopalanam Danaham Partho Vatsa Sudhir Bhokta Dugdham Gita Murtam Nohate Vasude Vasutam Devam Kamsa Charnura Mardanam Devaki Paravanandam Krishnam Bande Jagat Gurum Bhish Madrona Tadaja Yadrata Jalagam Dhara Nilopala Shalyak Grahavati Kripena Bahani Karne Navela Kula Ashwatthama Pikarna Ghora Magara Duryodhana Vartini Sotir Naghalu Pandavai Rananadi Kaivartaka Keshavaha Para Sarya Vachasaroja Mamalam Gidartha Gandot Kadam Nana Kyanaka Kesaram Harikadha Sambodhana Bodhidam Loke Sajana Shatpadei Raharaha Pevi Yamanam Mudha Buyad Bharata Pangajam Kalimala Pradham Sinasreyase Mukam Karoti Vachalam Pangum Langhayate Girim Yat Krupata Maham Bande Paramanandamadavam Yam Brahma Varunayendra Rudra Murit Marudas Tunanti Dibyais Tavaihi Vedais Sangabadakramo Banishadeir Gayam Tiyam Samagaha 
ध्यानावस्थित तद्गते न मनसा पश्यन्ति यम योगिनो यस्यांतम न विदुसुरा सुरगणा देवाय तस्मै नमः ओम गुड मॉर्निंग एंड नमस्कारम टू ऑल सो वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग श्रीमद् भगवत गीता वी आर नाउ इन द नाइन्थ चैप्टर वी आर स्टार्टिंग द नाइन्थ चैप्टर टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग द नाइन्थ चैप्टर राज विद्या राज गुह्य योगम राज विद्या राज गुह्य योगम सो दैट इज द नाइन्थ चैप्टर टिल एट्थ चैप्टर भगवान हैज बीन एंड ऑन द इन द एट्थ चैप्टर भगवान डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द क्रम मुक्ति एंड द उत्तरायण दक्षिणायनम जीवन मुक्ति ऑल दैट ऑल दैट इट वॉज एक्सप्लेन इन द एट्थ चैप्टर एंड ऑल्सो अबाउट द प्रणवोपासना ओंकार उपासना बै विच ए जीवा विल मर्ज विथ भगवान थ्रू द क्रम मुक्ति एक्सेट्रा ऑल दैट भगवान एक्सप्लेन नौ भगवान कम्स बैक टू द ज्ञान विज्ञान ज्ञान विथ एक्सपीरियन एक्सपीरियंशियल नॉलेज सो दैट इज द भगवान ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इन द सेवेंथ चैप्टर इट्स क्लियरली एक्सप्लेन बट वी ऑल नो दैट ओनली बाय रिपीटेड लिसनिंग राइट रिपीटेड लिसनिंग रिपीटेड कॉन्टम्प्लेशन एंड repeated nididhyasana that is assimilating the knowledge in our day to day life so this repetition is the secret of this knowledge it is the secret of this knowledge see if, if you take shrimad bhagavad gita uh, all the chapters the subject matter is the same the subject matter is आत्म विचार ओनली नो युअर ट्रू नेचर बै नोइंग सेलफ तरती शोक तरती शोक आत्म विद वन हू नोस् आत्मा ब्रह्म दैट जीवा ओनली क्रॉस द शोक द संसार समुद्रम राइट सो this is the secret this is the repetition repetition of the same in this chapter also so the name is raja vidya raja guhya yogam raja vidya raja guhya yogam we will start with the first verse <coughs> ninth chapter first verse श्री भगवाच इदम तो ते गुह्यतम प्रवक्ष्यानसूय वे ज्ञान विज्ञान सहित योक्ष्य से शुभा भगवान से इदम तो ते गुह्यतम प्रवक्ष्यानसूय वे ज्ञान विज्ञान सहित यवा मोक्ष से अशुभा यवा बै नोइंग विच राइट बै नोइंग विच अशुभा मोक्ष से यू विल बी कंप्लीटली फ्री फ्रॉम द अशुभम वट इज द अशुभम अशुभम इज कर्म वासना इज द अशुभम the urge to do karmas with the doership and the urge to enjoy the karma phalam that is the ashubham okay that ashubhat moksha se you can be completely free from this then <coughs> idam guhyatamam jnanam tu this jnanam this is vastu bodham that is knowing the brahmam okay this gnanam is guhyatamam it's a superlative degree bhagavan has used 
guhyam guhyataram guhyatamam okay it is the supreme secret secret of all the secrets this guhyatamam jnanam tu vijnana sahitam vijnana sahitam means anubhava sahitam experiential knowledge of this jnanam is called vijnana visheshana jnanam uh, see the perfect example is you know everything about the sugar okay what is the content of sugar and uh, what is it everything you know you can write an examination also you can take phd also about the sugar but the moment uh, you taste the sugar you put a small piece of uh, sugar in your mouth and then enjoy the sugar that is vijnanam right that is experiential knowledge of this brahmam is vijnanam so vijnana sahitam okay vijnana sahitam pravakshyami i will explain to you i will tell you whom anasuyave te to those who have no jealousy envy etc asuya is jealousy or envy anasuya anasuya means no envious not envious this to them <coughs> okay i will explain this gnanam vijnana sahitam i will explain this is the verse first verse what is this asuya okay asuya asuya is a jealousy what is this jealousy see <coughs> everyone okay everyone when they in a, a situation when they come across a situation or a person etc we come to a judgment we judge things and situations this judging and the, this judging or the likes okay the, the judgment is always whether it is i like it or i don't like it it is all based on certain data that we have fed into our system certain things which we have been we have learned through books or from the teachers or the society or the parents or from the genes so all these we have fed into the system and with which we like or we dislike let it be an object or let it be a situation so these likes and dislikes are the cause or are the reason for being envious jealousy right this ragam leads to the attachment leads to jealousy and if there is jealousy in a mind okay if the if the people or if the jiva is envious then this gnanam will not enter this gnanam this brahma gnanam or atma gnanam will not enter into the heart because because of this nature or this emotion called jealousy because of the nature called je the jealousy the the individual the person doesn't have any time will not find time even if someone is trying to tell that person about atma gnanam or brahma gnanam they will say no i don't have time for this i don't want to listen to this and they will go to a extent what extent they will say that these are all very nice to hear these are all very nice to read but this is not going to help me in my life this is all because of this likes and dislikes which are the root cause of this jealousy so but arjuna is a person who does not have this jealousy at all he is he is totally free from this emotion called asuya okay that is why bhagavan said idam te i will explain this to you because you don't have any jealousy pravakshyami anasuyave okay does not have any asuya not only towards the others but also towards this knowledge also okay this knowledge towards this knowledge 
who does not have any asuya because this brahma gyanam does not go inside right it will not be it will not be appreciated okay brahma gyanam won't be appreciated so that is the asuya towards this knowledge that as those who have this asuya towards this knowledge will never be able to get it okay so this now and also this is the secret of all secrets or it is the supreme secret guhya tamam why because even if someone <coughs> understands this knowledge intellectually okay intellectual clarity is there but still you can't say that i have this knowledge because unless it is experienced right that is vijnanam unless the fruits of this knowledge jnana phalam is as the jnana phalam which is assimilated by which a jiva a person enjoys the shanti okay enjoys the shanti that is atma jnanam that is the atma jnana lakshanam okay one who enjoys the peace of mind unless that peace is revealed we cannot say that i know this knowledge so because of this reason it is secret it is secret also because it has to be found only through experience it has to be known only through an experience okay so that experiential knowledge it is because of that reason it is guhya tamam see what this vedanta says is that what you see is sarvam brahmamayam earlier in the 8th chapter we saw one word as susulabham sulabham it is very it is available everywhere right it is there everywhere but still it is guhyam it is guhyam it is guhyam means uh, secret next next verse we will uh, discuss more about this uh, uh, guhyam raja guhyam why it is called raja guhyam okay so uh, through shravanam by listening to this because someone has to be anasuya no asuya at all and then after listening to this knowledge then mananam we has to contemplate remove all the doubts regarding this brahmam and then assimilate this knowledge in our day to day affairs every moment moment to moment this has to be applied in our life after clearing all the doubts okay so that experiential knowledge i will explain to you so what bhagavan said in the first verse idam tute guhyatamam pravakshyam yanasuyave gnanam vijnana sahitam yat gnatva moksha se shubhad from this ashubham ashubham again that ashubham is karma vasana okay that uh, doership that ahankaram that i am the one who is doing this instead of knowing that i am akarta aham brahmasmi i am that bodham i am that consciousness in consciousness in me all that is happening which is transient i understand this where it is like the mirage mirage which appears in a desert similarly whatever that appears in a desert does not have any permanent existence so knowing this knowing that my true nature is atma my true nature is brahmam my true nature is shanti my true nature is peace whereas all the disturbances of the mind is caused by my own ignorance it is my ignorance by not knowing my true nature and not knowing the true nature is the ashubham from that ashubham from that ignorance you will be free okay moksha se ashubhad this is the meaning of the first verse we'll move to the next one second raja vidya raja guhyam pavitram idam uttamam 
പ്രത്യക്ഷാവഗമം ധർമ്യം സുസുഖം കർത്തുമവ്യയം വൺ മോർ ടൈം രാജവിദ്യാ രാജഗുഹ്യം പവിത്രമിതമുത്തമം പ്രത്യക്ഷാവഗമം ധർമ്യം സുസുഖം കർത്തുമവ്യയം ഇതും രാജവിദ്യ രാജഗുഹ്യം ദിസ് നോളേജ് വിച്ച് ഈസ് ദ കിങ് കിങ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ നോളേജസ് വിച്ച് ഈസ് ദ ചക്രവർത്തി ഓഫ് ഓൾ നോളേജസ് ഓക്കെ കിങ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ നോളേജസ് ആൻഡ് രാജഗുഹ്യം ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ ദ സുപ്രീം സീക്രട്ട് സുപ്രീം സീക്രട്ട് പവിത്രം ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് പ്യുവർ okay pure pavitram without any impurity pavitram uttamam okay it is uttamam this is the most beneficial knowledge it is the most beneficial knowledge in our lives so pavitram uttamam okay it is also i can say it is mandatory it is necessary it is a must for the jeevas uttamam that is why it is uttamam pravaksha prat sorry pratyaksha avagamam it is it has got a pratyaksha avagamam means it has got direct experience uh, we will get okay direct experience we will get pratyaksha avagamam dharmyam this is established in dharma only okay it is established in dharmam kartum susugham beautiful kartum susugham it is very easy to practice very easy to practice susugham okay susugham kartum susugham we'll explain this in detail avyayam once this knowledge is known it is impossible to lose it avyayam means once the knowledge has come once the self is revealed or once the vidya has come then it is impossible to get rid of it okay it is it is it cannot be lost very important avyayam avyayam <coughs> okay this is the that royal knowledge that royal secret and it is the supreme purifier it is a purifier of the mind it is realized by direct experience it is not that uh, uh, it is not uh, paroksham it is not that you heard about this you heard you hear something right suppose somebody is having ice cream you heard it it is not like that here here it is it is direct experience it is a direct experience avyayam uh yeah where is yeah it is realized by direct experience uh, is in according with it in accordance with the dharma okay it doesn't deviate from dharma it is established in dharma and it is imperishable it is imperishable that is once the knowledge has come it is very difficult to remove it it is difficult to i don't want this knowledge impossible it will not go like that then very easy to practice susugham kartum kartum susugham see why it is avyayam it is imperishable this in vedanta there is a story of uh, uh, princess of kashi i had told this earlier i think uh, it is it is worth repeating again the story goes like this there was a prince in nearby you know nearby uh, state or province there was a prince so he was ready for marriage eligible bachelor he was ready for a marriage and all and so the the prince his uh, father and uh, also the raja guru etc they decided that he should get married say they told they told him <coughs> uh, you are ready for marriage are you ready 
he was always in a in a he was in a dull mood he was not he was not saying yes or he was not saying no also then they said hey what is wrong with you we will find a good girl for you and all that he is not talking you know but he is very moody and all very moody then uh, the king asked or uh, also the queen she also asked him beta what happened to you you have anyone in your mind you please let us know we will find that girl uh, right and she is told it's not not at all revealing then ultimately the raja guru he he said i will talk to him the mandri he said i will talk to him so he goes to him and then says that hey, come let us have a private talk at that time he said that i have a girl in my mind then said oh, okay very good excellent uh, where is she uh, where is she living and then where is she let us go and find out and then uh, we will arrange for that uh, he says i don't know where she is then where have you seen her then he says i there is a photograph which is there along with so many other photographs in a palace so this boy he says the prince says i will show you the photograph and he went and shows a photograph of a beautiful girl uh, very very young of course she is very young uh, he said this is the girl i want then by seeing it the rajaguru smiled and then rajaguru said let us sit and talk so he made him sit comfortably and said this marriage is impossible then the prince said why what happened you just know you promised that we will uh, have your marriage with this girl and all that and he said see the girl that you are seeing in that painting is your own photograph the prince was surprised how come that is possible this is a girl and i am a boy and he said no 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 many years before there was a drama which was there which was conducted in this uh, palace at that time that character of that uh, uh, the princess she was absent that uh, that actress was absent so immediately they decided th- that you take uh, you know the costume of that uh, princess and you act in that drama and you acted as a princess in that uh, drama and uh, your mother liked it very much that immediately she called the artist and made that painting and uh, that painting is uh, kept there so it is you only you will you cannot get married then immediately the prince started laughing and that is the end of the story so here now is it possible that he will again fall in love with that girl the knowledge has come that the 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 painting is his own painting the knowledge has come the ignorance has gone now the the prince of kash the, the prince of kashi or the prince sorry the prince he cannot get married to that girl and he knows it very clearly he will never be deluded he will not think about marrying her again even when the painting is there at all times he will see the painting every day and he will just smile this is avyayam similarly once the self is known once i know that aham brahmasmi after that even when this world appears as many to the sense organs uh, you just smile you just smile because this is not at all going to affect me at all because i am that brahman i am that consciousness in which all of this appear so this is that is why this knowledge is avyayam and it is the raja vidya it is the king it is the king of all knowledges because every other knowledge 
every other knowledge is based on the perception all the knowledge is through the five sense organs the jnanendriyas grasp the knowledge right and this that knowledge whichever is grasped by the five sense organs is temporary all that knowledge will go anything that is grabbed anything that is acquired will definitely go right it will have an end it has got a start it will have an end and also anything that ends will not give any happiness anything that that is grasped which will go away will not give any happiness whereas knowing the true nature that is i was i am i will be that means the knowledge that i am brahman is ever it is not that now i become brahman by knowing that i am brahman i become brahman is not so i was ever brahman i am now also brahman i will also be brahman at all times right so this knowledge where i claim my true nature please understand this i am not acquiring that i am brahman or i am atma i know that i was atma i know that i am atma i know that i will be atma ever this claiming because we are not getting it and this knowledge is ever with me this knowledge uh, sorry this atma that i am is my true nature and i was that i am and i will be by knowing this by understanding this knowledge by claiming my true nature i am not acquiring it i am not getting it with the sense organs right that is why this atma vidya or brahma vidya is called raja vidya raja vidya this gnanam is not like the other knowledge see all other knowledges if you see <coughs> a few years back for a particular knowledge let it be science that that person will get a nobel prize also a scientist will get a nobel prize and down the line after 20 or 25 years or 30 years uh, they will prove that that knowledge is wrong and the new theory will come and that scientist also will get uh, another nobel prize because why this is happening is that the change is inevitable actually the first uh, scientist who got nobel prize that is correct but things have changed now that is the reason why that theory was proved wrong similarly after another few years this also will be proved wrong and another nobel prize will be given to that scientist so it is the nature it is not it is it is not that uh, the previous scientist was uh, poor or not intelligent etc we are not trying to put anyone down here okay so these knowledge is the knowledge that we acquire through the five sense organs will perish will go also that will not lead to any happiness ultimate happiness it will not lead to any peace of mind okay because of that reason also this knowledge which gives a contentment in life which uh, reveals the peace of mind uh, within okay dhanyoham 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 this is what vidyaranya swami said tri dhanyoham right that tripti in life can only be obtained by this brahma vidya or atma vidya that is why it is called raja vidya 
and Raja Guhyam. Why it is Raja Guhyam? See, Guhyam means it is the already we discussed. It is the secret. It is a secret. Even when it is available, now you see it is available in so many prakarana granthas are there so many books are there in youtube you will find thousands and thousands of talks on atma vidya but still a very few are able to grasp it a very few people can understand it why because of the self interest because of the self interest that is me and the mind right me and mind that holding on to things holding on to things which are perishable let it be money let it be relationships let it be this own body everything will perish okay but this maya shakti this maya is so strong so powerful that this foolish person does not understand this not able to get it because of that reason the jivas they hold on they possess and because of that possessing such things not in not renouncing it internally they hold on to this to my husband to my wife to my father to my children to the society to the money to the name and fame and post whatever to the name to the caste all these adhyasam all these things people hold on to which is perishable separation is inevitable knowingly people fall into this trap of this maya shakti and suffer right even when the atma vidya is available everywhere we are unable to enter into the atma vicharam that is why it is raja guhyam it is the raja guhyam also also it is guhyam because it is called guhayam uh, in in guha it stays that is why guhayam sthitam it is hidden in a cave you know ramana maharshi said uh, uh what is that verse uh, there is a verse uh, aha mahamiti right aha mahamiti i just uh, i forgot yeah e even taitiriya upanishad says you know tasma dwa etasma datmana akasha sambhutaha before that satyam jnanam anantam brahma yo ved nihitam guhayam parame vyoman so in this guha in this cave of the heart this brahman is there atma is there that has to be revealed that why that is why it is called raj guhyam right now pavitram pavitram it is so pure it is without any impurity and it removes the impurities of the mind by this knowledge and applying it in our day to day life we we will be will make our mind pure right it removes the raga and dvesha one second sorry <laughs> so pavitram pavitram means here without any impurity by this knowledge the impurities of the mind the likes and dislikes raga and dvesha will be removed from the mind that is why it is pavitram also and it is uttamam be- without this knowledge without this knowledge it is impossible to get rid of the dukham in our lives the shogam cannot be removed fully removed without this knowledge 
so that is why it is uttamam also and it is mandatory right it is mandatory it is the most beneficial it is the best without which it is not possible it is not possible to remove the dukkham so that is why it is called uh, uttamam also and it is pratyaksha avagamam already we discussed this it is the direct experience it is not a, the uh, it is not a hearsay it's not a okay somebody said and uh, okay fine not like that it can be experienced directly one who does atma vicharam uh, bhagavan bhagavan himself said uh, in uh, uh, one of the words swalpam apyasya dharmasya trayate mahato bhayat swalpam apyasya even a little bit of this will remove uh, a big fears of life right big fears also will get uh, removed by this knowledge swalpam apyasya so then we listen to this and when we uh, analyze this shruti yukti okay shruti we hear yukti apply logic okay don't don't uh, blindly believe it apply our logic when we apply our logic and practice it then anubhavam comes right the anubhavam the even the disturbances of the mind reduces is it not you think about yourself we all when we do this it is revealing itself through the experience of the reduction of the disturbances of the mind is it not so that is why it is pratyaksham it is pratyaksham and uh, uh, another another uh, word is aparoksham it is pratyaksham paroksham aparoksham it is uh, self uh, experience it is exper it can be experienced uh, directly and also dharmam it is established uh, in dharma only see if you take all our any religion for that matter need not be hindu religion any religion the when we call sanatana dharma no sanatana dharma in any religion you take the sadachar or the practices good practices okay all the good practices the yamas the niyamas everything in any country any country any religion any society if you take this this sadacharam you know the good practices is based it is based on this oneness you take any rules and regulations of the country you take any rules and regulations of a religion okay and whatever the parents teach their children also everything is based on this principle of oneness only and the principle of oneness is advaitam and the principle of oneness is vedanta okay it is based on vedanta only that is why it is called dharmam you analyze this this point you take any rules any religion and the teachings okay everything is based on this vedanta only that is why it is called dharmam and kartum susugham it is why it is called susugham kartum susugham it is not that you have to leave everything and go to a forest or go to himalayas etc no while we are in in the karma when we are doing the karma there itself this has to be practiced there itself it can be practiced okay it we don't have to go anywhere to practice this you don't have to go to a temple you don't have to go to a different place and you have to go to another where difficult situations nothing wherever you are whatever job you are doing as a grihastha or as a sanyasi or as whichever job you are doing whether you are rich whether we are poor 
whether we are in this caste or in that caste no difference wherever we are through this knowledge right once we know our true nature intellectually once that is clarified intellectually apply yogam right yoga abhyasam bhagavan said no yoga yukto bhav arjuna that is what bhagavan said sarveshu kaleshu yoga yukto bhav arjuna ma manusmara this is the point ma manusmara ma manusmara is jnanam know yourself as me at brahman and yoga yukto practice equanimity of the mind with this knowledge with this knowledge wherever we are in whether you are a son whether you are a husband a wife or father whatever you are right we can be practiced by knowing this knowledge by knowing this true nature that is with the jnanam apply yogam practice equanimity of the mind do your swadharma without getting attached to the result of the karma that is why it is called kartum susukham it is not that difficult at all it is not difficult okay and it has it it need not we need not do it overnight it has to be practiced very very slowly right very slowly sanai sanai ruparamet sanai sanai ruparamet very slowly slowly and steadily by keep the satsanga alive at all times stay with the sat that is satsanga stay with the sat is remember the bhagavan remember the atma at all times that is satsanga that is satsanga remember ma manusmara yudhya cha ma manusmara remember me anusmara means every moment smara every moment you remember me ma manusmara yudhya cha do your karma for arjuna that is his swadharma for you and me whatever swadharma we are in so when we are wherever we are we do our swadharma with the swadharma mam anusmara these two together that is practice yoga with this jnanam that is why it is called it is susukham kartum kartum susukham avyayam okay raja vidya raja guhyam pavitram idam uttamam pratyakshavagamam dharmyam susukham kartum avyayam avyayam already we explained right right <coughs> once the knowledge is once it is once you have the knowledge it is impossible for that to go that means what it means once this knowledge has come that my true nature is atma and the experiential knowledge has come even when all the indriyas go right or let the all the indriyas go it will go in old age eyesight will go the hearing ability will go the taste will go the intellect will go remember the intellect whatever we study whatever we memorize right everything will go even the bank account money also we will forget how much money was there by how much money is there we will forget even to sign the check everything will go but this knowledge will not go this knowledge is when it becomes experiential knowledge it will never go okay right <coughs> we'll move to the next verse and also this munda gopanishad a few quotes brahma vidyam sarva vidya pratishtha right munda gopanishad says yame vaisha vrunute tena labhyastasyesha all that is munda gopanishad says that okay we'll move to the next one that is importance the the important this this uh, is very uttamam you know it is uttamam and uh, it is a must brahma vidya atma vidya is a must 93 asraddha dhana purusha dharmasya asya parantapa aprapya mam nivartante mrityu samsara vartmani asraddha dhana purusha धर्मस्यास्य परंतपा अप्राप्य माम निवर्तन्ते मृत्यु संसार वर्तमनी 
Parantapa, hey Arjuna, Asya Dharmasya, okay, this Viknanam, the experiential knowledge that I am going to explain, Bhagavan says, I am going to explain, Asraddha Dhanaha Purushaha, those who have no Sraddha, Asraddha Dhanaha Purushaha, those who have no Sraddha, Maam Aprapya, those who have no faith, okay, Maam Aprapya, okay, Maam means here, I am the Adhishtanam, I am the Adhishtanam, and I am the ultimate cause of this whole universe and those who are those who don't have faith okay asratta dhanaha maam aprapya they will not be able to reach me they will not be able to realize me okay unable to know or unable to realize me mrityu samsara vartmani they have to go through birth, death and this life cycle. The life cycle of birth and death that is Mrityu, Samsara, Vartmani, Nivartante. They happen to spend time like this only. Hey Arjuna, those who are devoid of faith, who don't have faith in this Dharma, that is in this Atma Jnanam, do not attain me. They don't realize me but they remain caught up they remain caught up in the cycle the recurring cycle of birth and death that's what Bhagavan says if someone who does not who do not apply this Atma Vidya in their life they will have to go through the cycle of birth and death See, if, if anyone finds a little bit of truth in it, if they listen little bit, okay, by accidental also, accident they listen to Atma Jnanam or this Satsangam, somewhere they attend the Satsang, they listen little bit and if, if they find little bit truth in it, they should practice it. That's all they have to do. We, when we listen to that accidentally when we listen also a little bit of knowledge they should practice in their life they must practice in their life definitely there will be a result right but you see how many people how many people are doing it even when they listen to that they don't apply it they don't apply it. It is very, <coughs> very sad to see. Very sad to see this. See, after a certain age, in after a certain age, it is very difficult to understand this. Very difficult. Because the the karma vasana would have set in, you know, the the uh, Trishna, the karma vasana is another word is Trishna. That the desires are never ending and the desire to have something or other will not go away. See, generally we think that when people get old, people become matured, you know. It is not so. People don't get matured by old age unless they listen to satsang satsang means sat have a connection with sat connection with the atma otherwise the the desire the trishna will never go away it will actually increase as the old age sets in as people get old, Trishna increases. You know why? At young age, somehow or other, we will have people will have the strength, the mental strength, 
the physical strength etc with that they pursue this trishna they pursue this desire and somehow it is gets fulfilled and we feel happy but it leads to the next karma and as we become older and older the body will not function as the desire you know the desire is also desire is increasing whereas the ability to fulfill the desire the physical as well as the mental comes down intellect also comes down the temperament also goes down but the trishna is increasing the desire is increasing so what will what will happen what will happen is that the feeling of feeling of fulfillment you know the tripti will never come just quite contrary opposite to that unhappiness increases that i am unable to perform certain functions with this body i am unable to fulfill my desires even i am trying to fulfill my desire through my children but the children they have got their own agenda they will not listen the children will not listen they will not fulfill their parents desires and if at all they are ready to, if at all they are ready their trishna increases and they will have the new ones so ultimately the point is in old age the person dies with a lot of unfulfilled desires that is for sure only people only during their young age it should start at a very young age if not at least by middle age people should start listening to this vedanta should listen to gita that is why you know many people they will wait when will i retire they will wait somehow i we want to get into the uh, studies of vedanta and have a peaceful end right whereas the most of the people they will continue their journey with increasing desires by increasing their karma vasana instead of reducing it and will have a definitely a miserable end so the identification with the body that is the root cause of all this the root cause is my identification with the body that is i am this body that is the root cause of all this by thinking that i am this body i have to get this and that for my happiness whereas i fail to see myself as atma i fail to see myself as atma in that ignorance and one is not knowing my true nature second is identifying myself with the deham dehatma buddhi i pursue objects of this world vishaya very various vishayas and fall into the trap after going certain distance it will be very difficult to come back there will be a point of no no return in this life then onwards it is a total fall that is bhagavan says here mam aprapya okay mam aprapya mrityu samsara vartmani nivartade that is birth death why there is a, the birth again because there are unfulfilled desires and i am identifying with this body definitely a new body will come and i will identify with that body and this cycle goes on the sukshma shariram sukshma shariram is the mind mind is matter a refined mind will be a better body a fallen mind will have a lower kind of body so this cycle continues because of the wrong identification and above all this life itself 
will be a miserable life a miserable end definitely if without atmajnanam dukkham shogam unfulfillment right the tripti will never come the life will be very difficult without atmajnanam that is why bhagavan gives a very strong warning here asraddha dhanaha asno sraddha no faith in guru vakyam and scriptures that is asraddha dhanaha purushaha dharmasya asya dharmasya dharmasya means dharma shabdam we explained in the first dharma kshetre we explained dharma kshetre guru kshetre right dharma means brahmam that is dharma means brahmam only one who is in the path of knowing brahmam is dharmam that uh, those purushaha asraddha dhanaha who have no faith in scriptures who have no faith in uh, guru vakyam they mrityu samsara vartmani maam aprapya nivartade the self realization god realization my true nature will not happen because of that the cycle of birth and death continues okay we'll move to the fourth verse from fourth verse onwards uh, bhagavan gives the gnanam gnanam vijnanam vijnana sahitam gnanam we'll just uh, uh, read the verse and stop maya tadamidam sarvam jagadavyakta murtina matsthani sarvabhutani na jaham teshya vasthitah maya tadamidam sarvam jagadavyakta murtina matsthani sarvabhutani na jaham teshya vasthitah all this universe all this universe is pervaded by me that is me means aham brahman pervaded by me in my unmanifested form all being exist in me but i do not abide in them idam sarvam jagat this universe which which appears okay which appears to you and me idam sarvam jagat that which is which is appearing here avyakta murti namaya avyakta murti namaya idam sarvam jagat this universe which appears to you and me avyakta murti namaya not being pursued by the sense organ that is why it is avyaktam not being pursued by me that form by me tadam inside out filled it is tadam sarvam covered that is ishavasya midam sarvam sarva bhutani mat sthani all the objects which is moving and which is unmoving unmoving means which appear to be unmoving okay we'll discuss this in our next class sarva bhutani mat sthani they are all abide in me alone okay aham cha sarva bhuteshu na avasthitah i do not abide in them okay we'll continue in our next class om purnamad purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 om hari om tat sat ब्रह्मापणमस्तू